Hello, Internet, and welcome to my live reaction for Eden Zero, Chapter 17. Uh, when we last left off, we were introduced to Witch, who's one of the four star shines uh, who, like, kind of run things on the Eden Zero. Uh, or, like, four, like, generals of Ziggy back in the day or something. I'm a little vague on what they are. Uh, but the other three have scattered to the winds, one of whom, however, is on Blue Garden. Uh, we learn there is a secret chamber in Eden Zero titled Sister that requires all four of the star shines in order to open. Um, and then we headed back down to Blue Garden uh, to try to find the star shine. Um, we had a quick encounter with La Villa, um, which then led to Rebecca being called to meet with the Guildmaster of Crimson Torch. Uh, and then a mysterious sniper dude found La Villa, and that's kind of where we left off. So let's jump right on in with Chapter 17 Collection. Our cover picture is a uh, witch doing some cooking. Uh, good adventure, start to the full stomach. Uh, Adventures Guild, shooting starlight. I thought they were called Crimson Torch last time I checked. I don't know. Early manga translations are weird. Um, so anyway, we open right where we left off in shooting starlight. Uh, and Rebecca is having, like, a meal with Happy and Shiki, it looks like. The Master wants to see me? I wonder what it is. You're probably gonna get in trouble for heading to Norma. I had no idea you couldn't go there. Uh, then Shiki speaks up. The Master seems like someone I want to meet. Even I haven't met him before. I wonder if we can become friends. Master- And, uh, then Pino speaks up. Master Rebecca's heart rate has- has increased. Well, of course, I'm nervous. Well, this conversation got a little heavy, and she, like, stands up. I'm going, too. You can't go. That's perfect. If it's the Master, he might have some information on Starshines. I'm going to go out for a little bit. Aye, sir. And, uh, Shiki, like, looks off after her. And then he turns to, uh, Pino. What about Happy? I have confirmed that he is okay. But we have so much free time. Wait, what? I'm, I'm kind of confused what's going on in these two panels? Um... Why wouldn't Happy be okay? Like, I don't know. That doesn't make any sense to me. Anyway, moving on. I know. Let's go exploring. That sounds great. Um, and then it cuts sometime somewhere outside of the guild. This planet has a weird dog on it. It cries with a poon. Is that even a dog? Gotta love a good plu joke. Um, and somewhere else on Blue Garden, as Shiki and Pino go exploring. Look at all the juice lined up in this. This is a vending machine. There's even a cleaning robot. It's a cleaner type robot. There's water flowing in the air. Water is this planet's precious ether. What does that mean? Is it kind of like how like Norma had like the pillars in the sky and Blue Garden has this water stream? Do all planets have some kind of weird elemental thing going on? I don't know. That's a weird thing. Um, but yeah. And then Shiki like turns to Pino. Well, aren't you smarter than me, even though it's your first time here? Ah, but there are lots of things I don't know. I want to see that dog that cries poon. I think he's in a restaurant around here, and they head off to go find the Plue restaurant. Uh, and they cut somewhere else in the city. Master, have you become lost? No, I'm not lost. I'll just have to use my navigation. Wait a second, it's around here somewhere. Uh, and then we cut to where we left off last week with La Villa and the sniper guy. Wow, your stare is creepy. This fan is kind of scary. And uh, the village two bodyguards like step in front of her, you know, do the whole like knuckle cracking. Hey, you there! How dare you block the way of Master the Villa? Uh, and the sniper guy like rushes past them, rushes to them, and like knocks them out. Not being very sniper like. Uh, so maybe I was wrong. He's not really a sniper, but he just has a, has a sniper vibe. I I feel. Um, but yeah, the two guys are like passed out on the street behind him. Who is this guy? He's trouble. Number three and four. And two more bodyguards pop up. Hey, you creep. And, um, sniper guy, like, elbows one. He gets, like, sent flying. And he, like, kicks the other one down. Number five. I, I'm going to shoot. This, like, like, reptile kind of guy. Pulls up a gun. Huh? Where did he? And he pops up right behind number five. And smacks him over the head. Gah! Well, what's the meaning of this? What is it you want? Money? My job is to take you back home. Are we getting some kind of the villa backstory? Cause this this feels very Phantom Lord to me. You know how how uh, how Jude hired Phantom Lord to like kidnap Lucy back in Fairy Tale. Uh, I I'm getting kind of a similar vibe here. Your job? What's that? 
Uh, and then he grabs um, Lavilla by the arm. Just don't squirm. Stop it! Somebody help me! Uh, and, oh, it's Shiki. Uh, and she, and the sniper guy looks back in shock. And Lavilla is also, like, stop crying, just, like, in pure shock. She doesn't want to go. Uh, and the sniper guy, like, detaches his arm. Your arm! Uh, and then the sniper guy just, like, one-handed hand sign things. And the arm that Shiki's holding, like, punches him in the face, but he like, barely dodges, I think. Uh, and then kind of, like, flies around and attaches back to his arm. Gravity boy! It's Shiki. Gravity? What's with this guy? Is he a machine? Analyzing. About 60% of his body is machine. Confirming it's a cyborg. Will you help me? It looks like I got wrapped up in something terrible. To be honest, I don't care what happens to you. Uh, and, and, uh, the villain's like, what? Overlooking this isn't in my nature either. Gramps always told me, you should always give a lending hand to those in need. That becomes the first step to tie souls together. I'm, and, uh, Pino, Pino like, just kind of like pops up. I myself have tied my soul with the master. Uh, and then the sniper or cyborg guy, like, just glares at him. You're getting in my way. Is it your job to bully girls? My job is to take people, even those that don't want to. There's no need for emotions. Then there's no way for our souls to connect. Uh, and we see, like, ether gear markings come up the guy's uh, arm. There's no need for a soul. I'll eliminate those in my way. It looks like he has some kind of, like, wind ether gear. Ether gear? What is this? Oh, and Lavilla gets out her B-cube. Is there some amazing footage that's about to happen? I'm not going to lose to someone with no soul. You punk. Oh, and uh, Shiki, like, activates his ether gear, too. You have ether gear, too. Uh, and Shiki, like, grins at him. Uh, and then on Planet Gilst, where um, Elsie threatened to send the gang a few chapters ago, we see, uh, I think it's a stone statue of a woman? Um, maybe she was trying to, maybe she, like, Medusa into a statue? She seems very, life, very like, lifelike. And a fly goes to land on her arm, and it's, like, wrapped up in, like, a frog tongue. I want even more tasteful ones. I want more beautiful young girls. Okay, yep, he's, like, somehow turning all these girls into stone, it looks like. This giant, like, frog monster with, like, a key on a necklace around his gigantic neck. Uh, also with legs that do not seem strong enough to support the top half of his body. Uh, I don't know, he's kind of a creep. Master Iliga, there should be an, an enormous amount of girls that will be sent here soon. Please wait just a bit longer. I want the beekeeper. Yes, there's a big hunt for beekeepers on Blue Garden. Oh, is this the guy that hired the uh, enemy who needs a name and fast? Is that true? Yes, yes. Sisters, soldiers are in participation. You'll have your pick of beautiful young beekeeper girls. I want them soon. I'm going to increase my collection. And we cut to, um... Rebecca and Happy headed to see the master. Those that talk of sister. Those evil venomous snakes have a lock on Rebecca. To be continued in chapter 18, Highway That Cries Like the Wind. Okay. So. All of a sudden, I'm... Or not all of a sudden. Already, I'm not really feeling Iliga. He seems kind of, um... Ah, uh, what's the right way to put this? I don't know. He's kind of... He just seems like, you know, he's there for, like, the shock value, I guess. You know, um, I don't know. He just, he, def he does not seem like he'll be a good villain. So I hope he either surprises me or uh, he's over and done with fast. But, like, I will say he's, so, I'm not entirely sure if he's the one behind um, our wind-based ether gear cyborg friend. Just because, you know, he's going after B-Cubers, but let me see what exactly he tells LaVilla. I think the guy says, I'm going to take you home. Yeah, he's take you back home. So I don't think he that this guy is responsible is in league with uh, Oliga. Just because Oliga is not taking anyone back home, he seems to just be kidnapping people. Uh, like Rebecca. He's not. He's not going to be the, the master, is he? Because we know the master's called for Rebecca out of nowhere. And then, this guy has Rebecca in his sights. 
I don't know, maybe, maybe the master of the guild is a servant for Eliga. I don't know. That could be, that could be kind of interesting. I'm uh, still not a big fan of his whole, you know, make a bunch of naked women stone statues and stare at them all day, but whatever. He's a villain, he gets a little bit of leeway. You know, he's evil, I get that, but I don't know. It just seems kind of exploitative, I guess, in a way that Mashima's best works really aren't. You know? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, other than that, we see not really that much happens this week. It's a pretty slow chapter. Um, we get a little bit of, like, Shiki and Pino messing around. The beginnings of this fight with Shiki and this guy who still has no name, uh, who really is gonna name soon. Uh, oh, right, also, Eliga mentions Sister's Soldiers. Uh, which I feel like there was an... I feel like there was another mention of Sister in last week's chapter that wasn't just the, um, the little, like, case thing. Yeah, yeah, here it is. Uh, the very end of last chapter, there's, like, Sister, I will now carry out the mission. So maybe he is caught... So I, I think Sister is also the name of this person's boss. So maybe Eliga is caught up with this guy? Or maybe Sister runs another, like, a, like the equivalent of a dark guild in this universe... Um, and this guy is just taking out this mission for another client to bring the villa back home, whatever that means. Um, and then, like, another group of sister members are, um, are working for Eliga. Maybe the villa is somehow related to Eliga. Uh, maybe that's gonna be, like, she ran away from him, and that's why, um, maybe there's, like, an arranged marriage or something, and she ran away from Aliga, and that's why Aliga is so fascinated by B-Cubers. I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. Um, but yeah, that's it for this week's chapter. It was kind of on the light side. It or light and like light, like not a lot of content, not light in the like light and happy side, because we have Frogman who turns women into stone statues who he can ogle them all day and do other stuff that'll probably not be mentioned in the series because it's still in like Shonen Sunday, which is or not Shonen Sunday, and Weekly Shonen Magazine, which is generally not that adult in its content, but whatever. Um, but yeah, that's really all I have for this week's chapter. Hope you all enjoyed the chapter and the video. If you did, feel free to drop me a like, subscribe, or do whatever the fuck you want. I don't really care. And as always, people, keep kicking ass, and I'll see you in the future. Bye!